again, more videos here on the Nexus Root Toolkit. I hope you guys understand the trend here. Yes, I'm trying to cover this thing as fully as I possibly can. So we're going to go back into Advanced. Um, again, obviously have your driver stuff done. Check out that video if you haven't got there. I'm not going to go backwards. I'm just moving forwards. So we're going to go into Advanced. We talked about the quick uh, boot stuff right here. Today I'm actually going to talk about how to install a custom recovery, how to update your custom recovery to a new one if you need to do that, or how to install stock recovery because you already have a custom recovery installed. So just so you guys can see this, I actually already have a custom recovery installed. My custom recovery I have installed right now is Torp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project, which is the best recovery out there, at least in my opinion. So you guys can see that's what's on my device as we speak right now. I'm going to go ahead and just reboot it back into the system. And while that's doing that, let's go over here and talk about this right here. So Fast Boot Flash. This is the section we're going to talk about. And what is amazing about flash boot, uh, Fast Boot Flash is that you can flash any different section of your device using Fast Boot Flash section right here. So any different little piece of your device, so whether it's the bootloader, the recovery, the system, the user data, the radio, or the kernel, or the boot image. But we're going to specifically talk about the recovery. So we're going to go in here to recovery. Again, it just talks about different information about recovery images. So just read what it says and hit OK. All right, so flash upgrade custom recovery. This is the beauty right here. So if you want to get the latest Torp recovery, it's very, very simple. Also, flash perm recovery signed zip. So that just means it's going to be a permanent thing. So latest Torp, we can click that one. And you can see what's going to happen is it's going to check ADB status. It's going to check your device. It'll even download the latest Torp recovery if it's not already downloaded for the toolkit and it'll reboot your device into bootloader. So it's really quite amazing and that's one of the beauties of this utility is that it downloads all the files you need. Once you've selected your device, there's really no need to do anything else. Just let the tool do its job. So that is absolutely the beauty of this uh, setup, which is very, very cool. So again, you want the latest torque recovery, Boom, hit the option, and you will be rocking it. Once this actually flashes, I'm also going to show you guys really quickly how to restore stock recovery. And the reason being for restoring stock recovery is so that you can go ahead and maybe take OTA updates again. This device is right now 100% unaltered besides having root access and torp recovery on it. So now we're going to be able to go ahead and flash stock recovery back to your device. So just let this thing boot up and finish the Torp Recovery install. All right, there is Android. Ba -dum -ba -dum. And I'll just unlock it just for the sake of doing it. It's waiting for device, it should see it. Yep, detecting device. And it's gonna go ahead and push over, uh, pushing perm recovery sign zip to your device. So it's pushing that over right this minute. And then it's going to reboot into recovery. Um, and are in the bootloader here and then you should be pretty much good to go it should push over torp recovery and then it should i think boot into torp recovery and that'll be your full install of torp recovery on the device yep flashing torp recovery shamu which is code name for the nexus 6. there we go all right booting torp recovery temporarily so it should be booting up torp recovery now you can see this really makes it hands off. You guys don't have to do anything. Just let the scripts run, let the tool do the job. Uh, it is quite nice. So you go, you got it all. There you go, flashy perm recovery signed zip. So that is getting done and your device is uh, rebooting. One last time here. So again, we're waiting for device. All right, the device is booted up. Again, the computer is going to see that it is attached. Um, detecting device, yep, there it is. And should just wrap up this script. There you go. Um, 
everything looks good. It does give you the volume keys and tells you how to manually get into recovery from a powered off state, which is very, very nice. And you hit OK and you're done. You've either installed recovery or you've actually updated to the newest Twerp recovery by doing that. Very simple. Let's go ahead and do it again. But this time, let's go ahead and restore stock recovery. So we're going to click this option. And now, this is really important. So, um, so it has a modified boot image. Stock recovery is not present. This is what I'm talking about, about this tool. It's quite amazing. So it's going to go ahead and it sees you have some files here. They're in green, but your stock recovery is not. So hit download and update file dependencies. And what you're going to see is you're going to get a pop-up right there. Boom. Downloaded stock recovery for you. You don't have to do nothing here. That's it. Boom. All right. Go ahead and now it says just stock recovery isn't enough. Use the flash stock plus unroot button instead if you need to. No, I just want stock recovery. I don't want to unroot. So we're just going to do this. This script also flashes undo perm recovery zip, which is what you saw installed earlier, um, and talks about it all. And just go ahead and hit it. And again, we are going to go ahead and get stock recovery permanently back to your device once the script runs through. And your hands off from here. So this is just absolutely a beautiful tool that makes life so easy when it comes to dealing with custom recovery on your Nexus 6 for that matter, for on any Nexus device that is out there. There we go, booting modified boot image to enable running privilege commands and we'll let this run through. I'm not even going to show you guys the stock recovery, you guys get the point of how this works and the beauty of updating through the tool. Like I said, the developer keeps all the files up to date and it just makes this so, so simple for anybody to use. So stay tuned for more videos on the Nexus Root Toolkit. We'll be covering some more sections in here for you. Uh, comment if you have anything you'd want me to specifically cover and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. There you go, it's booted up and you have stock Android recovery back. Just to prove that I do have stock Android recovery, we're going to go ahead and go to Reboot to Recovery. That's an app called Flashify, which is really nice. You could even use the tool to do this, but there you go, there's a stock recovery. I think if you hold, I think it's volume, maybe it's volume up and down at the same time, or maybe it's volume up and plus power. There it is volume up plus power that goes ahead and now uh, you can see the menu very small but there you go stock recovery is back I'm gonna go ahead and reboot out of it and there you go very simple yeah.